Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This year I have a Dell laptop, and I'll be doing the hard drive replacement uh, for this video. But at the same time, what I'll do is I'll explain to you each of the components. As I take it apart, I'll explain to you what you can repair on the RAM, uh, maybe the motherboard, uh, the hard drive, the speaker, the battery. So I'll explain to you throughout this whole video um, the, the entire uh, process. So but for my case, I'll be replacing the hard drive and once I replace the hard drive, I'll go ahead and install the Windows 10 operating system on it. This video here, I'm not going to show you um, how to do a bootable USB or bootable DVD to install the Windows 10. Uh, you can get it from Amazon if you want to buy a new license from Amazon or you can go to Microsoft website and create yourself a bootable Windows 10 um, USB or DVD. All right, so let's get started. Let me flip it around. Here, as you can see, the uh, I'll share with you the model number here is Dell Inspiron 3593. Okay, so it's 3593. Um, the model is probably P75F. And this is the laptop. And let me show you the keyboard so you know that you are matching exactly the same. And this is the keyboard, and as you can see, the bottom left it says Inspiron 15 3000 series. Bottom right corner is an Intel i5 10 generation. So this is an Intel uh, 10 generation CPU on it. Okay, so let me flip it up, flip it on the back. I'll be re removing the uh, the back back cover. So the screws are just a regular Phillips screw. So actually you can use any um, Phillips screwdriver and that, that way you can just remove the screw without any problem. So I need to change my screwdriver because uh, this has been with me for many years. The screwdriver seems to lose its magnet grip on the screw. So every time when I unscrew, it just doesn't uh, magnet to remove the screw. I have to use my finger to pull it out. Uh, but yeah, this screwdriver has been with me for many years. Uh, it's doing a good job and it's time for a replacement soon. All right, so once you remove all the screws, um, let me explain, all the screws are about the same size. There's no difference on the screw. The only screw different is right this one. This is the one that is holding on to uh, maybe, I don't know, it doesn't seem like they have a DVD drive, so. So it's not ho it's not holding onto the CD-ROM. I'm not hundred percent sure what is that holding for. We'll take a look when when we get it open. And the screws, it seems like the top two screws here, and the third one here in the uh on the right side, it doesn't seem like it's gonna come out. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. What I'm doing right now is I flip it upside down, and I'm gonna come back and pry open the base, okay? So I'm using a prying tool. I'm just turning around and to try to pry open the base. Alright, so it seems to be ready to remove. Let me close the screen back and I flip it around. And this is where I try to remove the back cover. So this entire cover will just come right out without any problem. Alright, let me put that on the side. Here you can see the entire computer. Uh, it doesn't come with a CD-ROM, so that that tiny little screw was supposed to be for the CD-ROM that screw right in to hold the CD-ROM it looks like this model doesn't come with it alright so here is your hard drive uh, which I'll be replacing the hard drive so go ahead and remove that hard drive you can actually replace the hard drive with the solid state drive okay so 
uh, that way you would have a better performance uh, better speed rather than using the regular HDD drive so once you remove the four screws the hard drive would just kind of come out a little bit what you want to do is to disconnect this controller uh, this this connector right here for the SATA okay so this is my new hard drive and this is the old hard drive you can remove the hard drive and then do a swap once you swap the new hard drive you need to install OS on it uh, the new hard drive does not come with the Windows therefore the computer will not boot up to Windows so you need to you need to install Windows on a new hard drive or the SSD drive now for those of you who's going to question me can I install M.2 SSD drive the answer is yes this slot right here allows you to install M.2 NVMe SSD drive okay so install there's a screw right here ready for you to put it in uh, there you have it this here is actually your battery so if you have a broken battery or the battery is swell or there's a lump on the battery uh, to remove the battery is very simple go ahead and remove the screw So once you have the four screws removed and make sure you know how to disconnect the battery there are two ways to do it you can actually slide this one away uh, I mean slide this one towards your body so down and uh, to remove it or you can remove from this one so let me see if I can show this one to you so I think I'll be removing from I think I'll be removing from this one here so let me show you that how to do it okay so once you remove not remove but peel the, 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 the tag the plastic and you want to slightly pull the cable towards yourself okay so just pull it towards yourself down to yourself and there you go you would have the battery now if you want to replace the battery go look it up here the model is YRDD6 Make sure you match the picture and get the battery replaced. Alright, when it comes to here, you can see that they run on a DDR4 RAM. It looks like this is an 8 and 8, so they, you're going to have a 16 gigabytes. Uh, or you can do 16 and 16, you can upgrade to 32. Uh, I don't think there's a good point of upgrading the RAM up to 32. I think 16 or 8 is more than enough uh, for daily uses. Uh, but if you want to have the speed definitely you want to change the hard drive to a solid state drive all right so here's your CPU fan and if you have the fan is not working or something is wrong with it go ahead and pull to your right so this cable right here slide to your right side of it and that's how you disconnect the uh, CPU uh, fan cable and after you do that go ahead and remove that three screws so these three screws once you remove it you should be able to remove the CPU fan without any issue and if you want to find a replacement fan for that go ahead and look it up right here the model is CN-07MCD0 Okay, 07MCD0. That is the uh, the CPU fan replacement. Make sure you match the picture, the um, the the bracket that holds on to the to screw on. Make sure it match. Make sure it looks about the same. Uh, then you can purchase the uh, the fan. What I'll try to do is I'll try to have the uh, parts in the description below. You can click on the link and you can make the purchase off from eBay or maybe Amazon. Alright, so let's move on to the next part. Um, let's go ahead and disconnect this cable right here. So this here, I believe, is actually your LCD screen. Okay, so this is the cable for that. This cable right here is actually for the uh, left side of your USB port. This here is for your hard drive. So to remove the cable, you need to flip open that little clipper so there's a lid uh, there's a tiny clipper for uh, 
for the cable so you flip it up and you, the cable will just slide out without any problem here is for your touchpad you can open up slide it here is for your keyboard open up the clipper and slide it down okay this is for your speaker on the bottom right corner use your fingernail push it down towards your body okay that's how you disconnect the uh, the speaker and for those of you who wants to replace the speaker the speaker you just run all along the bottom here and the model for the speaker you can just look it up and this would be the speaker replacement part which is called CN06G8MW okay so let's continue um, my goal is to remove the motherboard okay so let's go ahead and remove the screw here this is for your Wi-Fi okay to disconnect what I'll do is I'll put a little marker here so the so I know the white one is on the top the bottom cable Wi-Fi is at the bottom and you can slightly slide open the Wi-Fi card now at this point here what else do I have I have this uh, this is probably the DC jack connector okay this is where the power comes in to remove it I use my two thumb the fingernail and push it away from my body so push it away from you and that's how you slide it out so let's go ahead and open this screw this is your hinge and what we'll do is we'll remove the motherboard so first I need to open the hinge to give the room for the motherboard to come out and there's one screw that is holding which is right here oh sorry I forgot this this cable right here so flip open the hinge and pull the cable uh, away from you this is your power button cable and this there you have it this is the entire motherboard uh, you can replace it so for you if you want to do a replacement on a motherboard this is where the parts you need to look for which is FDI55 LA-J081P uh, this is the 2019 model and this is the uh, the motherboard okay so the CPU is here this is the heatsink and now when you come to the keyboard unfortunately the keyboard is not replaceable you can see that the keyboard is manufacturer being pushed down like they punched down the keyboard is not a screw onto the keyboard uh, when I flip it on the other side earlier I show it to you the keyboard is one piece all together with the laptop here okay so you cannot replace the keyboard unless you replace entirely with the uh, with the, uh, uh, the the palm rest which this is what we call the palm rest the palm rest and the touchpad so the keyboard you have to replace entirely now uh, for those of you who says hey I have a cracked screen what should I do how do I replace the cracked screen there are two ways to do it one you can just replace the LCD on itself by itself by, re by removing the bezel so this is the bezel right you just pry open and then there should be a four screws and you can remove the LCD or you can remove the LCD entirely with the with the hinge so this is your hinge right so you remove the hinge on, on both sides and you can disconnect the LCD entirely uh, that's one way to do it now uh, I might have a video here on my YouTube channel uh, that shows you on how to replace the LCD screen on this model uh, you probably just Google or look it up uh, you might be able to find it uh, but if you're not too sure what to do uh, you need help with it uh, you can just you know comment on the video below I'm more than happy to um, make a new video for you just to show you on how to do that uh, same thing for the Windows installation if you need help to create a USB bootable disk uh, bootable for Windows 10 installation I'm more than happy to do that 
or you can do a cloning right so I forgot to explain you can do a clone so uh, you can clone the uh, original old hard drive of your into a new SSD drive so you can do a clone that way uh, you can keep the OS you can keep the data you can keep the program exactly how it was uh, but I need to make a separate video for that so if anybody requests um, if I have good enough requests I'll, I'll make sure I'm gonna make one for you guys and um, but now I do not have it so make sure you you know request and smash the like button give me a thumbs up you know I really appreciate uh, I try to make more of this video for you uh, for the next coming future so take care good luck with the repair and all the best